Hi, my name is Chad Hines of Willow Creek Kennels and this is Rooster and today we're going to talk about using pigeons as positive reinforcement to shape his behavior to hold his birds longer and longer. Boom, nice point right away. I'm going to use a clicker to mark that behavior. When I first start throwing these pigeons, we're going to use these pigeons as positive reinforcement. When I first start throwing these pigeons, you let him chase them. Let him chase them as far as he wants. I don't say anything to him. Wait for him to come back. Eventually he'll come back. That way I don't have to call him back, make him come back, force him to come back. He comes back in his own free will, and he learns that he can find more birds through me, and I always have more birds. So right away from the first time he hits the field, he learns that I control the birds, and that we can hunt together as a team, and I'll help him find birds. And what I'm doing here is using these pigeons as positive reinforcement. So as soon as he stops, I click with my clicker to mark that behavior, and let him know that that's what I wanted right there. That's the behavior that got him this bird, and then I immediately follow up with the throw of the bird. And pigeons make a great bird for this. These are homing pigeons. They'll fly back to the coop and make a great bird for, for this type of training. Here he stops again. He's catching on to this really quickly. Um, most dogs will kind of tear around, chase these birds quite a ways. This is his first time on these. Um, what he's doing though is he's kind of realizing that he can't find that bird pretty quick. He's coming back, back and he stops and stands still and hopes for another pigeon. When you do this, you want to find an area that's big, open, away from roads. We do have a road over here, but it's a, it's a gravel road. It's on the other side of this thick cover. It's, it's a little ways away. But you want a big area because your dog may chase this pigeon for two or three hundred yards. So you want enough room that he can run, chase that pigeon, figure out that he can't catch it, come back looking for another one. For safety precautions, it might not hurt to have your dog collar conditioned just in case he does get a little out of hand there. But typically, he's going to come right back looking for another bird. He knows I have more. And he can't have it unless he stands still. He's going to try something else here to get a hold of this bird. But he can't have it unless he stands still. So if he jumps around a little bit, that's no big deal. I'll let him have it when he's ready, when he's standing nice. Good boy. Now I've used the wool word, so I've got to get rid of this bird fairly quickly and make sure he doesn't move. Because I want, to, I want that word to mean stand still until I release him or until a bird flies right now. This is basically steady to wing training. He only has to stand till the bird goes. So if I just hold this bird up, he stands still. As long as he stands till that bird goes, that's all I need. Most hunters will do it this, will, will train their dog to st steady to wing. Um, it's a lot easier, it's a lot less to worry about in the field. And all that dog has to do is stand till the bird goes and then all bets are off. They get to the bird a little bit quicker, a lot of people like that when the bird's shot, when it goes down. Good. You see how he's coming back quicker now too? He's starting to realize that these birds are gonna get away anyways, and I have more, so I'll just come back. So I'm starting to develop a very, very cooperative dog here. And if I start this way young, then I don't have to worry so much about him running off on me because he's so in tune to me, he's been developed He's been conditioned to learn that I have birds and to stay with me for birds. Okay. Very good. 